Hello, happy Tuesday. This is Actors Daily Bread. Today I'm talking about the co-star rut. The co-star rut. What's up? I am just uh, in my car because I'm about to get into my class that starts in 15 minutes, but I wanted to hop on because I won't get out to really late. Um, but this is Actors Daily Bread, episode 94. I'm Christine Horn, professional working actress of 20 plus years and life and career coach for actors. And I wanna welcome you to Actors Daily Bread <laughs> on the road. <laughs> um, if this is your first time watching, I wanna welcome you. Go ahead and catch up on the 93 other episodes. Uh, to all my uh, people who watch every single day or at least try to, I wanna say thank you for being so supportive. And I hope you're still getting what you need by watching this. And to all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up? Replay watchers, love you guys. So um, yeah, I'm just out here in my car out in uh, North Hollywood. I'm taking a riding class and um, yeah, I had a few minutes. So give me some thumbs up, give me some hearts, say hello, let me know where you're watching from. But I wanna quickly touch on the co-star rut. Now, maybe like Christine, what are you talking about? So I'm gonna talk to two versions of y'all. So if you're new to filming, I'm just gonna focus on TV, clearly. If you're new to TV and that's your goal and this is new, you know, I know you're happy to get one word, two lines, one scene, three scenes, whatever, whatever. Like if you get cast, like just thank you. Thank you, God, I got cast on a TV show. And that's awesome. That's how I started, co-star roles. You know, co-star roles can be anything from, um, hi, may I help you? <laughs> to a whole scene, you know, two pages. Um, and depending on what market you're in, sometimes uh, the generosity, hi, Tony, thank you for watching, Tony. Um, Charleston, okay, awesome, hey, Tanika. Um, so, you know, so co-stars can range from one word to two scenes, and in the smaller markets, and honestly, not just smaller markets, because they do it out here in Los Angeles, too. Sometimes, you know, producers and shows can be a little stingy with the credit. It really should be a guest star, but they still want to call it a co-star because that has a whole thing to do with residuals and all this stuff. So sometimes you just take the role, and that's awesome. But you may, be, you may get to a point, and I'm going to just declare that you will get to a point where you are ready to move on to the next thing. And sometimes a lot of us in the industry will call it a co-star rut. There are some people, there are some actors I know out here in LA, like a lot of people know them. Um, they're like, they got credits for days, credits for days. And then when you look at their resume, you see, wow, it's mostly co-stars. And they haven't busted through the co-star roof to get that guest star, that or at least the recurring co-star. Um, and then, of course, the series regular. Um, yes, receive it, Tony. <laughs> um, so, and there, here's, here's the thing. And here's, hey, Tamara, thank you for watching. Um, this is what happens. Our resumes teach casting how to cast us. I'll say that again. Our resumes teach casting how to cast us. So though I love I have some casting directors who I just adore, who have been really influential in me building my credits over the years. And it got to a point though, where they just knew me as a go-to. Oh, Christine's a go-to for this. She can do cops, she can do this, she can do whatever. And though I'm grateful they would keep calling me in, it got to a point in my personal career, thank you for the hearts, that I had to start saying no. And let me tell you, it's hard when you're trying to pay a bill. It's hard when you just want to work to say no <laughs> to something. I just turned down an audition the other day for a really hot show that it would be a good look if I was on it, but the whole thing just wasn't worth it for me. And so I declined it. And also because once you start, once you do get breakthrough and get that guest star role, once you, I think my first guest star was with Tyler Perry on uh, having the have nots and once you get that taste you're like huh i can book guest star roles and then i booked a recurring guest star role and then more guest stars and then a series regular and once you become once you start elevating going backwards starts to confuse the industry and again i'm saying all of this with the preface of sometimes you just need the work Sometimes, if you, those of you who are union, I'm a, I'm a proud SAG after member, and sometimes you need to take. You're just trying to reach, you know, reach your amount to get your SAG insurance, you know. So I get that, but I do want you to understand that it comes to. There will be a point. 
Um, hi, Michael. Um, he says, I always dreamt of going into acting, but I don't fit the mold. Uh, I don't know about that, Michael. We need all, all, all types for acting. So I would rethink that paradigm. Um, but I just, I want to acknowledge that it can be hard. It can be scary to say no. And you feel like, oh my God, I turned down that audition. Are they going to call me again? The answer is yes. The answer is yes. That they just start to see, oh, Christine's turned down the past three co-stars we invited her to. I guess she's moving on. And then when that guest star comes in, I'll say, yes, I'll take for it or I'll go in for it. So for those of you who are um, brand new and just will, are dreaming of getting your first few lines in a move, in a television show, take this, just put this in the back of your mind, be excited for that one word or that one scene and start building your credits. That is exactly what I did. I just started stacking, stacking credits. I was like, whatever, I'm taking it, I'm taking it. And it's not, I want you to remember that it's not you being ungrateful. Because you may think, how am I turning down these roles when I, there's some actors out here who don't even get auditions, who don't even have an agent. I don't need you to worry about those people. They're going to get theirs. Once you get to a point, you have to start training casting, especially those, those offices where you have a relationship, on how to see you next. And it may mean less work for a moment. Right. And like, it's even like from going from non-union to union, right? People are scared in the, especially in the right to work states, like in the Southeast, like, I don't want to go union. I'm not going to get work. Yeah. You might get less work. Hey, Marilla, really thank you for watching. You know, you might get less work for a while, but the quality of work will change. I know plenty of people who have done a lot, a lot of non-union commercials or television shows or, you know, and they don't see it. It doesn't, it's not profitable right? It's not profitable. So there's a, everybody's in a different place in their life, a different place in their career. Don't get too caught up in what the other people are doing. Marilee just said acting goals. Yes, we all have goals and we all get to tears. And because we are always evolving and always growing, you're going to get to a point where like, you know, like I think of a good example is years ago when I um, booked The Lion King. I was like, oh my God, I'm on The Lion King. I booked it, you know, and then my goal was to be Nala. Then my goal was to do this. And, and then my goal was to get to Broadway. And every time I crossed one out, I was like, okay, what's next? So that didn't make me ungrateful, but it helped me set the bar. So when I decided to actually quit Lion King for good, like y'all, thank you so much, but please stop calling me because I'm going to focus on my film and television career. There were some, some of my cast members was like, you leaving? You leaving this good check? <laughs> And I was like, yes, grateful for this experience, but now it's time for my next level. Because there may be some of you watching who you get to a point, even with your acting career, where it just feels like a job that you dread. And I love this, this, this craft too much to do something that I'm not being fulfilled by. So I hope you found that helpful. Stay encouraged. Know that your next tier is coming, but it may come at the price of you to say no to some things. Uh, Tamara says, here is in Florida, it's really difficult for black actors. I'm SAG eligible, looking at heading to Atlanta or back to LA. Your advice. Um, are you in the Hollywood Bound Actors Group? Um, I just, my screen is moving so fast. I can't see the name again. Um, I feel like you are, but if you're not in the Hollywood Bound Actors Facebook group, that's my group that I have a fierce group of actors in there. It's a free Facebook group. Come join us, and I would like to elaborate on that question, or I might even do tomorrow's video on that for you, okay? Um, I don't want to be late for class. Okay, I'm good. I got like two more minutes. Um, but let me just touch on it right now. So yeah, I know Florida is a small market, smaller than Atlanta, Um and here's the deal, you know, it's like the reason why I moved back to Los Angeles. Sometimes you have to just make the make the leap. I know as we get older, quality of life, I can speak to the grown folks. Oh, yes, please join. It's totally free. There's tons of great resources in there. A lot of my members are watching right now. I know quality of life is important, you know, but sometimes we have to go to where the work is. I said in a video a few weeks ago, you can act anywhere. You can act in New York. You can act in Milwaukee. You can act in Omaha. But yeah, your options are going to be different. And if you are okay with the options that you have in your market, then cool. You can just do the local hire stuff that comes through like Miami and things like that. When I was shooting a show um, there 
early this year, I met a lot of local actors in Miami and they told me about, I think the one, um, <laughs> main casting office. Um, Michael, the group is called Hollywood bound actors. I usually, I'm cause I'm on my phone. I didn't type it in there, but after this ends, I'll type it, but Hollywood bound actors, just type it in the, in the search at the top and you can join us. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard to marry, but it's like, there is work in Atlanta. There's more work in Atlanta than in Florida. And that's just the fact of the matter. Um, and if it's feasible for you, I mean, the cost of living is low pretty for the most part. And it's, you can get, you know, real estate's cheap and you know, there's lots of stuff going on and great culture. You know, I'm all pro Atlanta. I miss Atlanta, but I had to go to the next level for my career. And it was not in vain. It was not for naught. Um, and it was, it's not always easy making that move. I'm married, you know, and my husband doesn't know anybody here. And he picked up and uh, just trusted in me, trusted in God and trusted in my vision. So I'm grateful to have that support um, because it gets harder. The more people you have, if you have kids and a house and, you know, there's other things. I'm never going to be like, yeah, girl, just get on the plane and go. Because I do know what comes with that. And it's not that easy. But when you feel that fire and you know you can do it, you owe it to yourself to try. Remember, it doesn't have to be permanent. You know, when I was telling people I was moving back to LA, they're like, how long are you gonna be there? Like, I don't know, I don't know. I'm just going, <laughs> I'm just going. I might go to LA and then book a series that shoots back in Atlanta and I get the best of both worlds. So I just don't believe in living a life with regrets. I know too many people who do and then they resent their kids or they resent their husband or their wife. And I just, I can't live that way for me. So I hope that helps. And uh, I want, I'm, I'm grateful that you're watching today. So I'm gonna go, cause I like to be early. To be early is to be on time. To be on time is to be late. So I'm gonna get in my writing class and I will catch you guys next time. Remember, this is Actors Daily Bread. If you have missed any of these episodes, this is episode 94, catch up. You can just click my name and, uh, Go to the videos tab and just have a binge day. All right. Um, I will read that comment later, Tamara, because I got to go. So grateful for you guys watching. Have an amazing night. Stay encouraged.